You are welcome to our lesson of physics practical experiment number four. Now we are in experiment number four. That is the series of our experiment. If you are not ready for experiment number one up to number three, let's see you subscribe our channel, allow notification, or click the bell to allow notification for the coming lesson within our experiments. Experiment number four. Our aim of the experiment, we are going to determine the electromotive force of a battery and the internal resistance of the cell or a battery. That is our aim of the experiment. We are going to use experimental circuit to derive the equation to see the nature of a graph. That is our circuit include one cell it has voltmeter is parallel with the a cell or yes that's the cell we have a switch we have a resistance box you see that is there is a change of resistance and then you are going to record the value of voltmeter or potential difference across the circuit that is our circuit after recording the results you have to to drive the question to see the nature of the question the nature of the graphs and uh, you can answer those questions the important thing within a physics experiment you have to to know the nature of the graph in order to get the best line and the correct answer according to the questions you have been asked or you have to answer after looking the experimental circuit we proceed with the we see the questions can appear within this experiment question number one plot a graph of one over r which is the resistance against one over v that is the reciprocal of resistance against the reciprocal of potential difference recorded on your experiment question number two calculate the slope of the graph you have to solve the graph you have to plot a graph then you calculate the slope Question number three, the use or calculate the value of EMF and the internal resistance. That is the important things or important questions you have to, to understand how to drive the question and how to solve it. The important thing of recording this tutorial or this practical is how to drive the nature of the graph, how to solve the EMF and the internal resistance by using the graph it means you have to solve by using the graph after plotting the graph you have to solve emf and the internal resistance through your graph have plotted in that question a that is very important so after seeing the questions let me proceed with the experimental theory or theory of experiment general question according to our circuit we have voltage we have internal resistance from the cell we have resistance and the uh, other components so general questions emf is equal to current bracket resistance plus the internal resistance within the cell the nature of the graph you have to plot a graph of one over r against the one over i so you have to drive this equation this question general question to reach here one of r is equal to y axis and one over v is equal to x axis in order to get a linear equation which obey the nature of the graph we proceed with the derivation emf is equal to that r plus r under bracket within the current so that is our equation then current is equal to emf 
over r plus r but current is o i is equal to v over r so instead of using current you use v over r so v over r is equal to emf over resistance plus internal resistance then in order to get 1 over r you have to make reciprocal of this equation this equation it means our question will be r over v is equal to r over e because e is o is on division of r plus r which is internal resistance so it will be r over v is equal to r over emf plus r over emf then in order to get 1 over v you have to to put aside or out of this equation r is equal to r over e is equal to plus e r over emf and then we have to divide the r both side in order to to get 1 over i to stay alone so our equation will be like that you as you see there or as you look on that your board 1 over v is equal to r over e it means will be times 1 over r plus r over e times 1 over r and then the reverse of that equation 1 over v is equal to 1 over emf plus r over emf plus 1 over r it means r and r is cancelled so remain with 1 over emf then we proceed in order to get 1 over r as y axis we have to to interchange the position it means this equation will come this side r over r over e times 1 over r is equal to 1 over v minus 1 over emf and then you have to divide r over e both side again or r over e you have to divide both side almost our equation will be 1 over r is equal to emf over r times 1 over v minus emf over r because we have divided it means emf will be upper side and r will be lower or bottom side or will be yes that is our division or how to divide so e over r plus 1 over emf that is our equation you have looking there then in order to get 1 over r is equal to 1 over r is equal to e over r which is internal resistance bracket 1 over v which is y axis minus 1 over r i think now you see the question have reached the at the end which obey the nature of our graph so you have to to make relation with the y is equal to mx plus c that is our our equation from emf is equal to current bracket r plus r and the the end of the equation is reaching here that is nature of the graph y is equal to 1 over r slope is equal to emf over r internal distance and the x axis is equal to 1 over v and the y intercept is equal to 1 negative 1 over r you see the nature of the graph we cut through negative y axis graphically you see that is our nature of our graph it means our nature of the graph will cut through will cut through y negative y 
negative that is our nature of our graph so we proceed with the how to solve emf and the internal resistance we have said y is equal to 1 over r and m is equal to e over r at the slope and y intercept is equal to 1 over r yes that is negative negative 1 over r therefore in order to, to get that is the slope how to calculate through equation after finding the point on your graphs so we proceed with it to deduce or to calculate emf and the internal resistance we start with the internal resistance we have said the internal resistance calculated from y intercept so y intercept is equal to negative 1 over r so c is equal to negative 1 over r it means r is equal to negative 1 over e intercept which is y even y intercept is equal to negative so negative will cancel we remain the value of r and the emf to solve from slope emf is equal to it means slope is equal to e over r from the graph emf it means will be slope times the internal resistance calculated here above yes that is how to solve emf and the internal resistance of a cell i think now you have enjoyed about this experiment number four for the coming lesson we proceed with the experiment number five number six number seven let's see subscribe our skills learning network to get a notification for the coming lesson i tell you here we have physics experiment biology experiment even chemistry practicals or experiments and other knowledges within our schools or universities or advanced levels i think now we end up here thank you for learning with me